Tommy Vassetti? <laughs> Shit. Didn't they ever let him out? He kept his head down. Helps people forget. People will remember soon enough. When they see him walking down the streets of their neighborhoods, it will be bad for business. Well, what are we gonna do, Sonny? We treat him like an old friend and keep him busy out of town, okay? We've been talking about expanding down south, right? Vice City is 24 karat gold these days. The Colombians, the Mexicans, hell, even those Cuban refugees are cutting themselves a piece of some nice action. But it's all drugs, Sonny. None of the families will touch that shit. Times are changing. The families can't keep their backs turned while our enemies reap the rewards. So, we send someone down to do the dirty work for us and cut ourselves a nice, quiet slice, okay? Who's our contact down there? Ken Rosenberg, schmuck of a lawyer. How's he gonna hold Vercetti's leash? We don't need him to. We just set him loose in Vice City. We give him a little cash to get started, okay? Give it a few months. Then we go down. Pay him a little visit, right? See how he's doing. It's uh, Ken Rosenberg here. Hey, 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 great, hey. Well, uh, I'm gonna drive you guys to the meet, okay? Now, I've talked to the suppliers, and they are very uh, keen to start a business relationship. So, uh, if all goes well, we should uh, be doing very nice to ourselves, which is, you know, good. Okay, so, they're brothers, okay? One operates the, uh, the business, and the other one does the flying. Okay, that's them and the chopper. All right, here's the deal. They want a straight exchange on open ground. All right? Okay, stay tight, let's go. Got it? 100% pure grade A Colombian, my friend. Let me see it. The greens? 10s and 20s, used. I think we have a deal, my friend. <laughs> oh, shit! I poked my head out of the gutter for one freaking second and fate shoveled shit in my face. Go get some sleep. What are you gonna do? I'll drop by your office tomorrow and we can start sorting this mess out. programming with a message from the State Department. All bridges and some roads in the Vice City metropolitan area have been closed because of a severe weather warning. Meteorologists are tracking Hurricane Hermione, which has devastated five Caribbean islands and is heading for Vice City. More updates soon. Robin's by... Tommy! Tommy, it's been too long. I know, I know. You're just overwhelmed with emotion. Fifteen years. Seems like only yesterday. I guess that's a perspective thing. Hey, doing time for the family is no piece of cake, but the family looks after its own, okay? 
So how'd the deal go down? You sitting on some white gold? Look, Sonny, we were set up. The deal was an ambush. Harry and Lee are dead. You better be kidding me, Tommy! Tell me you still got the money. No, Sonny. I don't have the money. That was my money, Tommy! My money! You better not be screwing me, Tommy, because you know I'm not a man to be screwed with! Wait, Sonny! You have my personal assurance that I'm gonna get you your money back, and the drugs, and I'm gonna mail you the dicks of those responsible! Hey, I already know that. You're not a fool, Tommy, but I warn you, neither am I. If it was anybody else, you'd be dead already. But because it's you, because we got history, I'm gonna let you handle this. Look, Sonny, you got my word. I'll be in touch. So far, we've dug 17 feet. We're almost free, almost. When we are floating away in the Caribbean Sea, free to run things our way, singing Kumbaya in the sunshine. No school, no tax. Free barbecue and pinball for everyone. Sophisticated entertainment. Yes, well, what about the little guy? What about the guy who is standing there saying, I like being part of America. I like it a lot. I get public radio. I can hear Mount. Go get some sleep, he says. <laughs> I have been sitting in this chair all night with the lights off drinking coffee. This is a disaster. We are so screwed, man. These gorillas, listen to me, are gonna come down here and rip my head off. It's re ridiculous. I did not go to law school for this. Okay, now what the hell are we gonna do? Shut up, sit down, relax. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. You're gonna find out who took our cocaine, and then I'm gonna kill them. That's a good idea. That's a great idea. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh, there's this retired colonel, Colonel Juan Garcia Cortez. He's the one that helped me set up this deal well away from Vice City's established thugs, okay? Now listen, he's holding his party out in the bay on his expensive yacht, and all of Vice City's big players are gonna be there, okay? I have an invite. Of course I have an invite. But there's no way that I'm going out there sticking my head out the door. No I way, not I told you, happen. shut up. I'll go myself. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I like 1978 too, but you know, this isn't gonna be a beer and strippers do. I mean, no offense, but I think that you might turn heads on the runway for the wrong reason. What's wrong with the way I'm dressed? Okay, look, here. Stop by Raphael's. Tell him I sent you. He'll make you look respectable. Okay, go, come on. Who does that guy think he is? Now I gotta dress like a chump as well as hang out with him? I like this shirt. Four people getting together. But your father owns half of Florida. How are you part of the working class? Like I said, possessions are not important at all. I'll pick up a hitchhiker in my convertible any day. The other day, I picked up a young woman and we discussed a non-violent solution to war. We... providing any serious solutions. So far, we've got secessionism, rearing its ugly head for the first time in a century and a half. We've got ignore it, and we've got give everyone a flower. You're all a, a little unrealistic, yes? Nah, oh, come on, I just have there, one my friend. Maurice, not to say over-opinionated and moronic, Mr. Crayshaw, Buenas noches. I understand you are here on the behalf of Mr. Rosenberg. I hope any recent problems have not affected his health or mental well-being, Mr. Versetti. He's just got a touch of agoraphobia. <laughs> excellent, excellent. And you? 
I just want my merchandise. Ah, it's an unfortunate set of circumstances for all involved. Of course, I have initiated my own lines of inquiry, but such a delicate matter will take time. Perhaps we'll talk later. Meanwhile, let me introduce you to my daughter. Miss Davis! Karamia, could you look after our guest while I attend to my necessary obligations? Of course, Daddy. Please, excuse me. Mercedes? You try living with him. Anyway, let me point out some of our more distinguished guests. That's our Congressman Alex Shrub with rising silicone star, Candy Sachs. And have you met my lovely wife, Laura? No? Well, uh, unfortunately, she's in Alabama. This is Candy. And over there, we have the Vice City Mamba's star titan, BJ. Always the charmer. I blocked down on him, and then I put him in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Well, now, I'm looking at some prime rooms. And that poolside amphibian is Jez Torrent, lead singer with Love Fest. Yeah, can I tell you, do you know how they play ping pong in Thailand? Let me tell you. It does not involve a paddle, <laughs> if you know what. Impotent. And the chatty trio, that sleeping sweat gland is Papa's right-hand gimp, Gonzalez. And the other two are Pastor Richards and pseudo-intellectual film director Fish Steve Scott. The throws a passion with the Nippo invaders when the giant shark comes in and just bites their dicks off. And now, you never saw anything like that before. Colonel, your party's as ever a triumph. <laughs> I can only apologize. Well, then not, amigo. How do we find you? <laughs> Our business is very dry. Barbarians at the gate. A time for rewarding one's friends and liquidating one's enemies, amigo. Who's the loudmouth? Ricardo Diaz. He's Mr. Cole. Mercedes! Oh, I was just taking my friend back into town. Another time, Ricardo. Ricardo, let's go. Let's get out line. of here. Sure Actually, take me to the pole position. Drinks. you be working for my father? Maybe. Do you mind me resting my hand in your lap? Maybe. So difficult having a rich and powerful father. Vamos. Shorty, shut up and let me speak. I'm taller than him, ladies and gentlemen, by at least three inches, which means I'm a lot more respectable looking. Everyone knows politicians lie and steal and cheat, but at least with me in charge... You See know, you I'm around, sure handsome. ...in a very supercilious manner. I'm sure you Besides will. Which I've been abroad, and I prefer it here because I'm a man of... Brilliant. Professional, that's my job. <sighs> And Mr. Hickory, what about you? All right. These problems are typical of what happens with an open border to the north. They will come down and ruin this great state. And Mr. Hickory, were you born in Florida? <laughs> what a stupid question of all the cheek. Were you? Of course. Well, I hope you're having a good time, because I'm going out of my mind with worry here. What did you find out? That there are more criminals in this town than in prison. We need a lead from the streets. Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think. Ah, I got it! Okay, there's this slimy, some music industry slimeball. Goes by the name of Kent Paul. Anyway, he's got his nose so far up most of Vice City's ass that if anybody knows the whereabouts of 20 keys of coke, it's this guy, all right? He's always at the Malibu. I'll go pay him a visit. Take it easy now. To VCPR, the radio station for disoriented and unrealistic college professors who wear fuzzy sweaters and find everything terribly interesting. I'm Michelle Montanius. And I'm Jonathan Freeloader. Public radio is very important. You may have heard my recent hour-long story about my hike in the park. That was fascinating and very important for everyone, even the blind. Play a selection, Jonathan. I 
think this is the part where I came to the big tree. I almost felt like I was there. You won't get this kind of nauseating detail on commercial radio. VCPR is 100% commercial free. Absolutely nothing interrupts your enjoyment of our fine programming. And Where'd you pop up from? I've been looking for a bird like you for ages, mate. You know what I am? Looking for some English guy. Kent Paul. Kent Paul, mate. Yeah, I'm the governor, Andy. I'll sort things out. You know what I mean? I'll treat you. Whatever you want, I'll get you, girl. Don't you worry about a thing, mate. Get lost, honey. Oi, 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 oi. I'm Kent Paul. I'm a friend of Rosenberg's. Rosenberg. Rosenberg. Oh, that bonkers ambulance chaser. That guy could defend an innocent man all the way to death row. <laughs> Get another drink, bruv. But he's a comedian. Listen to me. I'm missing 20 keys and a lot of cash. Drugs, mate. It's a mugs game. What do you know about it? Oi, oi, well, what I was coming to was, there's some chef come trumpet shifter who deals at kitchen of Hotel and Ocean Drive. He's been looking real pleased with himself lately. You could go and check him out. I will. And I'll be seeing you around. Yeah, that's right. Go and walk away, you mug. I knock you spark out. Give me a drink. And where's that slut? The Pilgrim Discourse. Why? All very confusing, if you ask me. And you did. And I asked myself, that is a perfect subject for a region-wide discussion show, which is very lucky because I happen to host one. To discuss the subject of morality, we have firebrand preacher, Pastor Richard. What you looking at? You better start talking. Hey, make me, you prick. You mess with me, asshole? Oh, way to go, tough guy. Beat him to a pulp. That should make him real chatty. You want some too? Hey, chill. I want what you want, brother. Oh, yeah? And what's that? Your green and my dead brother's white lady. Unfortunately, you just silenced our lead. Accidents happen. Get lost. Hey, hey, whoa. Well, no need to go all long range on my ass. The way I see it, we two hombres in a strange town. We need to watch each other's back. My back's just fine, brother. You sure about that? Here, take this. Follow me. This way! I'm going to Yo, guys, carry on, party. One thing you gotta realize about this town, you gotta pack some heat. A local gun shop is a couple of blocks away. I would serve a flamethrower if you're naked. It could burn or scold in quite a personal fashion, quite frankly. Have you been to the zoo? Animals are naked. If everyone were naked, there'd be no war. Everyone's complaining about crime and the theft of cars in the city. No one's ever stolen my car. No one's ever pickpocketed me. They've never even tried. That's because you're a degenerate loony. If the police were naked, it would set a great example to everyone. You can direct traffic and eat donuts entirely in the buff. Maurice, this kind of immoral behavior is exactly why I'm building the Pastor Richard Salvation statue. Noah had an ark, Texans had the Alamo, and I am building a highly fortified structure in my image. Simple. This 50-story statue will be able to deflect alpha, gamma, and beta radiation. The day is coming, and coming soon, where the artificial suns will rain down to punish the degenerates of this city. But you can save yourself. The Pastor Richard Salvation statue will be a completely self self-sufficient community. We have canned food rations, private living quarters, and enough supplies to survive happily the predicted 40,000 years of nuclear winter. In phase two, and with funding from NASA, we will equip this massive statue with rockets. So when the poopy hits the proverbial fan, we will load up the statue with all of the people who have saved themselves through generous do- I'm gonna go see what I can dig up. I'll be watching you, Tommy.
Please, it wasn't me. Hey, uh, Leo, I think we got a buyer for Diaz's merchandise. You gotta give him a ring, man. Set up the deal, you know? Where are you now? You okay, Leo? You sound kinda different. Just tell me where you are. Who the hell is this? Put Leo on, man. Leo's got away for a while. He left me in charge. Screw you, man. Uh, you don't mind if I borrow this? Hey, we like to rock it. Wow. Meaning, enlightenment. I'm on a problem in that valley. But I walk alone. I am on a spiritual journey. And if that enemy stands in my way, the contract says I walk. I've been dragged back and held down on me. Putting the family. Ah! Oh, oh, for God's sake, it's you. Oh, geez. I'm going to need new pants. Hey, those psychos from up north, they've been on the horn, and they're coming down here soon. Now, where is the goddamn money? Relax, relax. We're not at that part oh, yet. Oh, I thought that you were taking care of this. I really did. And now those Guidos say we gotta do them a favor! You mean I gotta do them a favor? Oh, of course that's what I mean. Do I look like I can intimidate a jury? I couldn't intimidate a child, and believe me, I've tried. Now look, it's either that or Ferelli's cousin Giorgio gets five years for fraud. You gotta take these guys out! I understand. Help the jury change their minds. Don't worry about no, it. No, 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 no! I tried that! The jury case didn't go so well. So make them change their minds. All right, more crap to wipe up. What did I do wrong in a past life? Oh. Dumb Florida moron. Be careful, all right? There's not much left in this city. Every time a culture has taken on the doctrine of helping your fellow man, we get thrown into the dark age. Look at Russia. They keep trying to help each other out, extend a hand to a neighbor, and guess what? Every 10 years, someone's invading, burning down their homes, and taking their toilet paper. Napoleon, Stalin, Attila the Hun, all of them. After you read my book, you will understand. I may have been born in the sea, but I'm no dummy. <sighs> Are we going to talk about being naked? Yeah, <laughs> soon, Barry. Uh, keep your hair on and uh, uh, calm down, please, my friend. Innocent until I say otherwise. Ah! Oh, and one of my hobbies, besides making babies and criticizing people, is biology. You learn so much from nature. People these days, they don't grow their own food. They can barely get out of their recliners and make it to the supermarket. <laughs> I tell you, there is nothing super about that place. Now, kids these days don't know how to preserve and can their own food. Now, no wonder all they want to do is play video games or hang out with their friends. What is it, the Degeneratron? What a crock of shit. Hey, <laughs> watch your language. This is radio. We have regulations about that sort of thing. But you let a naked man on. Yeah, he's behind the screen. You can't see him. It's not that exciting. Imagine a flabby guy with a ponytail and a nasty rash. You'll get the picture.
Hey, man, my car! Leave my damn car alone, man! Make that mistake again! Not guilty, understand? You should be spoken Good. properly. <laughs> no, don't interrupt me. I've got children, you know. was a very wise man. Before that tractor pull accident, my daddy taught me how to slaughter a pig. That's very useful information. Oh sure, I was a little nervous at first. Hey Tommy, it's Sonny. How's the suntan? I ain't got no suntan. We ain't got my money either, so I'm one of them myself. What are you doing? So tell me, Tommy, what are you doing? I'm looking for the money, Sonny. Don't worry. I am worried, Tommy. That's my style, because I seem to have this problem in my life with unreliable people. Don't be an unreliable person, Tommy, please. Do us both a favor. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. <laughs> now that's a woman. Avery goes without saying. Tommy, Tommy, any progress? No, 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 no. Tell me later, tell me later. Tommy, this is Avery Carrington. I believe you met at the party. Not in person. Howdy. Avery here has a proposition. <clears throat> Haven't we got other things on our mind? I'm trying to keep the wolves from the door. So could you please cut me some slack? I'm stretched like a wire, and even if I'm dead by the end of the week, I'd like to think that I didn't die poor. Now just okay? calm down, both of you. Son, you help me, and any grease balls giving you a hard time, I'll see to it they take a long dirt nap. Okay, what could I do for you? This delivery company's got its depot on some prime land. They won't sell. They're hanging on like a big old prairie rat. So we gotta go in there and smoke that vermin out. Head on down there and stir up a hornet's nest. The security will have their hands full and then you can sneak in and put them out of business. And you could drop by Raphael's for a change of clothes. You might be there a while, but yeah, go for it. Should be a riot. If the balls drop like they should. Stop by my office sometime. Who are these pricks anyway? Lawyer pricks, rug wearing pricks, surrounded by pricks. How do you know where the limits are? You have to know what's good and what's evil. You need someone to tell you so. Single moms have obese kids, it's a fact. While rich people have... on being thin and healthy. When my children are hungry, I hand them a spear and send them out to the park to catch their own food. They're learning how to be self-sufficient. Yesterday, my youngest, Jono, killed the postman, but at least he was trying. So I gave him a cuddle, I told him to hit daddy next time he comes home late smelling of cheap perfume. Okay, it's time to take a break before we hear about any more criminal acts against government employees. You're listening to Pressing Issues. Morality is the subject at hand. Let's explain exactly how free radio without commercial breaks works. We'll be right back. You're listening to VCPR. Fine. Stone Age. Liberals will be set on fire in the streets. Give now. 
Let's return to pressing issues. Over to you, Maurice, in the studio. Useless, talentless asshole. You're correct. He is an asshole. I love those guys. Really professional and living proof that all of the best talent isn't on commercial networks. These people do it for love because they have integrity, just like me. We're back with Pressing Issues. I'm Maurice Chavez, winner of five public radio awards in the Vice City area, including Best Voice. On this show, we take complex issues and boil them down to simple ones so you can understand. On this segment of the show, we are discussing morality. Since the beginning of time... Hola, is this Mr. Versetti? Yeah. Uh, this is Cortez. You were at my party? Yeah, I remember. Uh, Mr. Versetti, it was a... Uh... Most unfortunate incident that happened with your business deal. I know. I want you to know me and my people are doing their utmost to get to the bottom of it. If you'd like to talk to me more privately, you can find me at the bottom. Okay? Good day, sir. 